everybody, welcome back to Let's Talk. My name is John, and today here on the channel, we're going to be talking about 1994's True Lies and its brand new 4K Blu-ray. I know that this is one of the most anticipated 4K Blu-rays of 2024, but before we dive into that review, I always like to review the film first, so if you guys want to skip ahead to the 4K Blu-ray review, you guys could do that right now. So True Lies was originally released in 1994. The screenplay was done by James Cameron. It was directed by James Cameron. It is based on the French film La Tatale, and actually, it was Arnold Schwarzenegger who saw that film, brought it to James Cameron, and said, we have to remake this movie and make it just bigger and louder. And I feel like after Terminator, to Arnold Schwarzenegger and James Cameron just wanted to have a little fun because that's what this movie is all about. It's just a good time. It's basically James Cameron and Arnold Schwarzenegger's version of a James Bond film, a spy thriller. Instead, it's more of a spy action comedy film. You know, Arnold Schwarzenegger, he's not going to be believable as a spy. That guy is not blending into a crowd. He stands out more than anyone in any crowd. I mean, this guy is just a hulking of a man, but he is charming and he did learn how to do the tango for this film. Oh no, tango. Oh shit, here we go. And this movie actually has a very fun plot. Arnold Schwarzenegger is a spy, but his wife, played by Jamie Lee Curtis in this film, doesn't know that. She just thinks he's a sales rep somehow. And just like a lot of other Arnold Schwarzenegger films, this guy has one of the most American names ever. His name is Harry, which is a little bit different than his 1996 Jingle All The Way name, Howard. So, you know, this guy's just always playing around with some of the most stereotypical American names, despite the fact that he has one of the most recognizable accents of all time. But apparently his wives don't realize that. You killed anyone? Yeah, but they were all bad. And Jamie Lee Curtis just doesn't suspect anything. You know, she's got a regular old-fashioned job. They have a daughter. She's always raising a daughter. She doesn't really understand why he just never comes home. He's always late. Another very stereotypical character archetype in this film. And that's another thing. This movie is just leaning right into all of those action tropes. And that's because this movie is a satire. This movie is a satire of all of those spy action thrillers. A satire of a lot of other action films that were coming out in the 80s and 90s. You know, you bring in Arnold Schwarzenegger for that. It's perfect. He leans right into everything. He seems like he's just down to do anything anything and his wife and daughter do not suspect him of being a spy but one day Arnold Schwarzenegger he decides I'm gonna go visit my wife at work he tells her he tells his partner Tom Arnold you know what why don't you stay here stay in the car watch things Tom Arnold is fantastic in this film as well this is Tom Arnold's best film now given that's a very low bar to hit but he's actually really funny in this movie he has some fantastic lines my favorite being so your life's in the crapper so your wife's banging a used car salesman it's humiliating I know but god damn it take it like a man and then, you know, they go and visit the guy played by the great Bill Paxson in this movie, who's just a liar himself. He's just a very sleazy used car salesman just trying to get laid. And he's perfect in this movie. He's Bill Paxton, he's always down to do anything, and he just makes a complete fool of himself in this movie. And I don't score much. I got a little dick. It's pathetic. One of the most weak men you'll ever see on film, and Bill Paxton was just down to do it. He is great in this movie. He's just so funny. But when Arnold thinks that Bill Paxton's the one that's sleeping with his wife, you know, Ar Tom Arnold's like, so what? You know, it's, it happens to all of us. So your wife's sleeping with a used car salesman. Take it like a man. I just love Tom Arnold in this movie. He is so funny. But, you know, Arnold Schwarzenegger's not going to accept that, so he plans this big elaborate plan to spend taxpayers' money to kidnap his wife and find out if she's really cheating on him. And that also leads to one of the best scenes in the movie where Jamie Lee Curtis does like this strip tease dance for them. They're going to rekindle their marriage. She doesn't even realize that Arnold's in the room. You know, that's kind of a, a little bit of a touchy subject, but it is going to rekindle their marriage if this works. But she thinks that she's in a spy mission herself. But then, of course, when we get that strip tease dance, Jamie Lee Curtis is one of the most beautiful women ever between this and Trading Places. She really does have a case for being one of the most gorgeous women ever, especially on film. That scene is awesome. It's also really funny because of the dances that she does, but still, it works perfectly in this movie. And from that point, point on there's a lot of confusion about what's going on finally Jamie Lee Curtis figures out the truth that Arnold Schwarzenegger is a spy they have to figure out how to save the day because while this is all going on there is a terrorist organization trying to rehab it on the United States the first city that they're going to hit is Miami but you really don't care about the villains in this movie despite them being terrorists they're just very tropey terrorists there's really nothing special about them they're not going to stand out they're really just there to have a villain in this film they're not the big part of it even though we do lead up to this big set piece at the end of this film which is absolutely awesome all the action set pieces in this film are all great and when we and jumping to 4k blu-ray a lot of them look even better than they ever have mainly the bathroom fight sequence which is arguably one of the best bathroom action scenes of all time right up there with mission impossible fallout so this movie is just a blast it's gonna scratch that itch you go into this and you can just have a lot of fun this is the kind of movie that's a palate cleanser you know if you just watched a deep-seated drama or you just watched a really dark horror film you throw true lies on you just have a good time you enjoy all of these characters it looks like everybody in the film is having a great 
great time. And that's something that movies can do as well. Not every movie has to be extremely thought-provoking. Sometimes movies just want to be a good time. And that's what True Lies is. True Lies is just a blast. And I feel like James Cameron, Arnold Schwarzenegger, they just wanted to have some fun after making Terminator 2. And they just went out there and made a great action film from 1994. Is it the greatest action film of all time? No, but it's still a very, very, very well-made action film. It's still very watchable. It's one that you're going to absolutely enjoy. So if you haven't seen True Lies, I could definitely recommend that film. And maybe you want to check it out on this 4K Blu-ray that we're going to talk about right now. Well, here it is, True Lies on 4K Blu-ray. These were released along with Aliens and The Abyss on 4K Blu-ray. These were actually originally released digitally back in December of 2023. And actually, so far, all I have gotten is True Lies on 4K Blu-ray. I haven't gotten the other two. They just say order received at the time of this recording. So hopefully I get them pretty soon and then I'll review those for you guys. So the first one I got in was True Lies. And I had heard a lot of rumors about the digital versions of this and how people were upset about all the DNR. You know, that just brings back PTSD for all of us physical media collectors this after what happened with Terminator 2, which is considered one of the worst 4K Blu-rays ever, and I can confirm that despite owning two copies of it, it is one of the worst 4K Blu-ray transfers of all time. So a lot of people were worried about James Cameron using DNR because apparently he oversaw these transfers, and after watching it for myself, he definitely did use a lot of DNR, but there is a lot more to that than just using DNR. Like, you can't just throw this 4K Blu-ray away because it has an overuse of DNR. A lot of us have to remember that True Lies has not even come to Blu-ray. It has a pack in Blu-ray in here, and that's the first time that this film has ever actually come to Blu-ray. Before that, the last physical media release was on DVD, and over the last few years, because I really do enjoy True Lies, every time I've had to watch it was either on Amazon, or I think it actually had a stream on Peacock there for a little while, and they were awful. They look like they were ripped right from the DVD. And actually, Matt, who used to work with me here on this channel, he couldn't even finish the film. He's like, I can't watch that stream. It's that awful. So, you know, it's really hard for me to knock this 4K Blu-ray completely because we've never actually gotten this movie on Blu-ray or 4K Blu-ray. And I'm just really, really happy to have it in my collection. And as long as it's not an outright failure, I'm going to be pretty happy with it. But saying all that, how is it actually? So, first of all, you get this nice packaging, which I really do appreciate that. The Aliens, The Abyss, and the True Lies 4K Blu-ray have these alternate artworks on it. And for me, I think they all work. I know a lot of people didn't like the Aliens one, but I think that the True Lies one does really stand out. I like the white and red. You go underneath, same artwork. You come inside, you get a blue Blu-ray and a black 4K Blu-ray. It did come with a digital code, so if you went through our digital code giveaways, that will be in there this week. And this 4K Blu-ray was actually released by Buena Vista or Disney. You know, it's got the 20th Century Films logo on the side because originally this film was released by 20th Century Fox back in 1994. And it was actually the first film to use that 20th Century Fox logo that became very famous throughout the 1990s. So I thought that was pretty cool. But Disney doing the transfers, that was another thing that a lot of people were worried about. But this 4K Blu-ray does have Dolby Vision and HDR10. The audio also features a great new Dolby Atmos track. There's not many extras. That's something that was kind of disappointing to me. But there is a fantastic extra on there. And it's one I can't complain about at all because I just absolutely loved it. And it's called Fear is Not an Option. It's looking back on True Lies. And they have interviews with Arnold Schwarzenegger, James Cameron, Jamie Lee Curtis. And these are all very, very recent interviews. It is awesome. Awesome. I loved it. He even has some archival footage in there with Bill Paxton talking about this film. And I just really, really love that. I really enjoyed it. It's about 43 minutes long. But other than that, you have some archival extras really just looking about the marketing of this film. And it really isn't too much. They split them into a bunch of featurettes and they're all really short. That documentary, though, is the standout when it comes to the extras. And I absolutely loved it. That's what I want out of extras is always a making of documentary or a looking back documentary in that 45 minute to one hour range. And they gave that to me. So I can't really complain too much about the extras, even though there really isn't much. So I could see other people being disappointed with the extras. But me personally, I was very happy to get that documentary. I just sat there eating candy and watching it and just enjoying every single second of it. I thought it was fantastic. But that's not why we're here. How is the film itself? Well, let's start off with the audio. The Dolby Atmos track that's included on here, it is great. It's just not the greatest. There were times where I was listening to this Dolby Atmos track and I thought, wow, that is really impressive. Very early in the film when Arnold Schwarzenegger is at that one house party, it's in the snow, and you'll hear the bullets like hitting the snow and all that will just shoot around the room perfectly, just becoming an amazing Dolby Atmos track. And then later in the film, very similar situation with guns firing, and it will just sound very flat and bland. You know, there's a lot 
lot of helicopter shots in this movie. As much as James Cameron loves the ocean, apparently he loves helicopters as well because there's numerous helicopter shots. And some of the best Atmos tracks make great use of the helicopter blades spinning in the air. You'll feel that going around the room. And, you know, you felt that, but it just wasn't hitting that hard. It just wasn't hitting as hard as I was expecting. I felt like this audio track didn't have enough bass as well. But it's still a really, really good Dolby Atmos track. But for a new Dolby Atmos track, I really did expect a little bit more. It kind of feels like they took the lazy way out on this because there's just moments where it really shines. And that's the big thing with this entire 4K Blu-ray release is it has its moments where it really becomes almost a showpiece for the 4K Blu-ray format. And then it also becomes a lazy example of what you could do with the 4K Blu-ray format if you don't put your heart into it. And that's really disappointing because it really is the definition of a mixed bag. And then when you get to the visuals, like I said, HDR10 and Dolby Vision, and you will notice a lot of DNR in this film. I'm not going to lie to you guys when you're watching the 4K Blu-ray. I was watching it with my wife, Faith, who you guys know, and she's not the biggest physical media person. She's not somebody who's going to notice the visuals, but even she said in one in one certain scene, looking at Arnold Schwarzenegger and looking at Tom Arnold, and she's like, yeah, their skin does look very, very, very waxy, and that's what DNR does, digital noise reduction. You know, when you wipe away that film grain and you try and make this look as sharp and clear as possible, make it look very, very, very clean, uh, that's what you end up with is like human beings looking very waxy just looking very unnatural and unfortunately you do have that a lot in this film but you do get some other good things with the 4k blu-ray especially now with turning up the brightness the hdr is doing a lot of work especially if you were to compare it to the pack in blu-ray in here the 4k blu-ray is definitely noticeably brighter it's noticeably sharper because of the resolution increase the colors pop off your screen now that was the big standout to me was all of those colors james cameron loves that blue tint to all of his movies i love that as well you also get the great bread i didn't bring it up in my review but that great Brad Fidel score playing over everything love that as well so even though the skin does look unnatural in a lot of spots and it might take you out of it it still overall does look very very good in certain areas they clean this up the best it's ever looked and by default this is the best version of true lies is on this 4k blu-ray but some people might actually just be happy to watch the blu-ray version of this it is a little bit less of a resolution and you might be able to appreciate some of the bad looking effects more on the blu-ray whereas on the 4k blu-ray it's going to become more obvious because they probably didn't plan on anyone ever seeing this in this format and because all the colors just pop off the screen and it's so sharp you're going to notice all the little details and everything and sometimes that might take you out of it but really it's not as bad as everybody was making it out to be is it perfect when the visual department no it's probably not even close to perfect but it's still better than terminator 2 it doesn't hit titanic levels of greatness when it comes to the 4k blu-ray format but it's still very good this is still the best version of true lies you could possibly get and they priced it pretty fairly at $25. Would I buy it at $25 full price? Well, it's really going to come down to you. Me personally, I absolutely would. I'm very happy to have True Lies in my collection. I've been waiting a long time to have True Lies in my Blu-ray or 4K Blu-ray collection. It's one of those films that I absolutely love from the 1990s. I was a big James Cameron guy until he got over into the Avatar films, but I could still really appreciate True Lies. I still love running back to True Lies and just watching a good, fun action movie. And this is the best way to do it, even though it's not going to be something that you're going to absolutely love. The sweet spot for this is if you can get it on sale between $15 and $20 then you definitely are getting your money's worth I know people are going to be a little bit disappointed with the extras I know people are going to be a little bit disappointed with the visuals the audio is still really good but it's not great everything about this is good just not great it's not one of those special 4k blu-ray releases but I am still extremely thankful to have true lies on 4k blu-ray and if I was going to rate this 4k blu-ray on a score of 1 to 10 I would still give it a pretty solid 7.5 out of 10. It really isn't the worst thing ever as people are making it out to be, but it's also not the greatest thing ever. But anyway, that's going to do it here for me on another episode of Let's Talk. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, turn notifications on. You can even become a channel member. Look for that link in the description below. We have a Friends of the Channel tier. We have a Producers tier. That's where you're going to find John Doe Juggalo, Jason Martin, and Mr. Smelly Potato. We also have a director's tier. That's where you're going to find Frank's Media and Reviews. Definitely check out his YouTube channel as well. He does great videos, and you've seen him here on this channel. He's just a great guy, so make sure you guys head over there. Follow him as well. And if you got no money to throw away, don't worry about it, guys. We just appreciate you checking out this video. We really hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, don't forget to get out in those streets, tell your friends about us, and then we'll be seeing you around.